coming at you guys with a long-term review. Um, I should have got at this a really long time ago. Had some issues with my GoPro the last time I tried to do this. So today we're gonna give it another go because uh, it's not super warm, but definitely rideable. And uh, I'm gonna get out and ride. 2018 Orbea railing that I've been riding lately. Um, I'm coming off a uh, 2019 Yeti SB150. I really liked that bike, raced it a ton, really great bike. Um, changed over to this for the 2021 season and um, I came to you guys first with kind of just uh, initial impressions, what I was liking, what I wasn't, and uh, what I was going to change. So here we are and we'll kind of go over what I've changed so far. Um, so we've changed up the uh, DD Components cockpit. I am a grassroots rider for them, so I'm riding the race point handlebars, the copperhead stem, and the stem cap kit. Um, other than that, um, I switched over to clipless pedals um, very recently. Big change for me, but um, I've really liked it. Um, they're the Crank Brothers uh, E Enduro pedals. Um, I've been a big fan of these pedals so far. Um, other than that, did the Wolf Tooth uh, limited edition dropper post uh, lever and swapped out that Race Point 125 mil that I was kind of crabbing about to a um, Fox transfer 175 mil. Since making these changes, I really think the uh, the bike's been an overall performer. Um, we did go ahead and change this bad boy. There's a slack and slacker option, um, low and lower. Um, I prefer it in lower. I haven't noticed any issues with, you know, catching cranks on, uh, um, or pedal strikes or anything on climbs. Um, I honestly think that it makes the bike handle a little bit better overall entirely. Um, so other than that, I've spent some really long days in the saddle doing like some 2,500 to 3,500 uh, vertical feet of climbing, um, fire road climbing, technical climbing, you name it. And uh, this bike for an enduro bike, um, <laughs> it climbs with the best of them. Um, for a bike with 150 mil suspension travel, I think that it climbs as good as any other bike out there, in my impression. It's 150, 160 up front and I think that that's perfect. Um, I am going to swap over to the latest linkage. Um, it's just a little pricey. That's going to give me. Uh, it's going to put it at 160, 160, which I think I'm going to like. Um, other than that, the bike performs really well. Um, the only downfalls. Um, so I do have a new uh, XO cassette for it. I don't think that's going to make a big difference at all. Um, it did come with a GX drivetrain. I haven't noticed any issues with that. My Yeti did have it as well, and um, I, I think for the budget performs really well. Um, when that stuff breaks, I'll definitely be upgrading. Um, it did come one, come with the, I uh, believe these are the X1 cranks, non-carbon, um, still super good cranks, um, haven't had any issues. And uh, this bike has been an absolute beast for me. Um, I've liked every single part of it. Uh, I have a couple dings in the wheel set at this point, um, just from, you know, smashing around. It is just a DT Swiss. Um, I believe they're the E1900 splines, um, 30 width, uh, not super intense wheels for an enduro bike. Kind of like how the cockpit was set up with the very tight. I think those were probably like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the width of those handlebars were, but they were definitely in the 750 realm, which I would say XC. Um, I'm running 780 at this point, and um, they feel much more comfortable for me. Um, as well as that uh, race face dropper post, post at 125 mil. Um, I'm not a tall guy, I'm 5'8". But um, for someone like me and my riding style, I prefer a way longer dropper post. I'm just a little bit more aggressive. Um, what I think I'm gonna upgrade right before the race season is definitely gonna go to some four piston brakes. These did come with the uh, Shimano Dior XT M8000. They're two piston brakes. They're, they're absolutely great. Um, but I just want that extra stopping power. So um, kind of a cockpit view. Um, Came with the DPX2, Kajima, um, Fox 36 Performance up front. Haven't had any issues with that. Uh, I'll probably upgrade the fork at some point. Um, just haven't really seen a reason to do that. With, uh, with that being said, I'm gonna go riding today. I'll take you guys along and uh, we'll get some footage. Um, it's All right, sick, we're at the top. My dude Jeremy doing the long-term bike review of 2018. Orbea Rallon went over all the techie stuff in the garage. Now we're gonna give it a rip. Um, just climbed like one of the best sections I've ever climbed on this bike. So I'm going to keep repeating myself on how well for an Enduro 150, 160 bike that this thing climbs. Um, even in slack, not having any issues with, um, pedal strikes or anything like that. So let's go for a rip. Sick! 
Oh God. Almost off track, been a while. Woo. Oh God. 